Hey, good morning. This is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. We're up here in West Bloomfield, Michigan today, and as you can see in the background, Brian and Derek are getting set up for this project. So let me turn the camera around, and I'll show you what we've got going on. We're going to be doing a pondless waterfall, approximately 20 feet long, that's going to disappear into a hidden basin. What I like about this project is the fact that we're working with an existing hillside. Those hillsides, so much fun to work with. We're used to working in level backyards, flat backyards, and this is going to be this is going to be awesome working on this project. I can't say anymore. So before I turn the camera around, let me show you what the customer, where the uh, customer is going to be viewing from. So this is the um, the front of the house, and right over here in this window here, this is her office, and she's going to be looking out into this nice hillside so we're going to be starting a waterfall up here at the crest of this uh, hill we've got nice big oaks white pines that are gonna um, help anchor this and make this waterfall look like it's always been here so we've got a waterfall it's gonna start up here don't tell her but we're going to have another spillway in here we're gonna do another waterfall to the side here they're both gonna come together they're gonna crash right in through here, come down this area, and go down into a hidden base. Remember, don't say anything in the comments because this is a total surprise. So, this is all gonna get landscaped afterwards. It's gonna be a real fun project. All right, we got the stream and the basin all set. Components are in. Five aqua blocks, pump vault with extension right there and there. Stream right here. Gonna have spillway boxes going right in here. Another spillway box going up there. Plumbing trenched in not installed yet um, we're running a three inch line since we're using a aquascape uh, 48,000 uh, aqua surge that way you use the three inch the bigger pipe to get the maximum amount of flow boulders just got delivered Ouch. almost tripped and fell we got some nice boulders got some two footers got some 12 to 18s, good mix. Good mix. So today, we're gonna start rocking and rolling. All right, so the guys been working hard out here. Um, it's about noon, they've got this all dug out. The aqua blocks are in down here, the vault is in. We're running three inch plumbing on this one because we're gonna do a aquascape, or yeah, the aqua, we're gonna run the aqua surge four to 8,000 and we wanna get maximum amount of water coming out of here. As you can see along here, this is a roadway and you can hear that road noise. We wanna create some sound out here and we want a lot of water flowing over this at any time. So again, we're gonna have a water feature. We're gonna have a spillway box up on top, spillway box here. They'll come together right in the center portion right here. And then another drop, another drop. They've already got their bib liner on top of the aqua blocks down here. That way it won't look like it's a sunken, or that way it won't look like a dry gravel pit right here. It'll look like water's still moving. So water can come across the top of this bib liner and then since they've got the bib liner up on the sides it can exit right here so let's walk around the back i'll show you 
since we're up on a hillside, they'll make the connections here to the back of the spillway. But right here, we're gonna put in our discharge. So that way, um, come springtime, when all that water's been sitting down in the basin all winter long and gets really stinky, we like to put a T in here. We'll put a ball valve here. The water can take off, go downhill, and we can discharge all that stinky water in the springtime. And they don't have to pull the pump. Nobody has to get to the pump until it's time to replace that pump. We've got the pump sitting down deep enough for Michigan uh, winters and we've never had them freeze yet. So we put an extension on our vault. That way water, uh, the pump sits down in water all winter long. It's protected thermally. So won't freeze, won't crack. We're good to go. So um, it's getting late in the day today and I'm sure the guys are getting tired, but they're gonna probably start working a little bit on the waterfalls and then we'll finish this one up tomorrow. All right, so we worked a little bit longer on the first day, but unfortunately yesterday we did get rained out. And um, I'll show you what we've gotten accomplished so far on this project here in West Bloomfield. So turn the camera around. So obviously the basin has been filled up from rain. We've got our border edging stones about three quarters of the way up. We're setting our spillway boxes now. Derek is working with the uh, three inch flexible PVC piping and he's doing some golf swings at the root systems of this large white pine so we can get that piping in the ground. So a few more hours we should have this pretty much set and then uh, we'll get it up and running and then we'll start working on some details like trimming off the liner, uh, utilizing some of the extra boulders that we have into the landscape so it doesn't look like this thing just fell out of the sky. All right, so we're wrapping this one up here in West Bloomfield, Michigan. And without further ado, I will turn this camera around. Right from the front door. Bam, that's what you see. It's beautiful. It looks amazing. You like it? I love it. Thank so you. can you see it from inside your office? Yes. This is the homeowner's view right here so that's what she's going to be looking at every single day so the homeowner uh, brought over some of her pots with annual flowers in them we just randomly placed it added a little bit of mulch cover to it and little namaste frog we've got some creeping jenny we've got some moss that we harvested um, let us know what you think in the comments below so that's a wrap we'll see you on the next job Thank you.